Shelby Miller, the Braves' lone all-star from a year ago, is gone, and his GM John Coppolella and John Hart, the president of baseball operations, both said following the trade of the Diamondbacks, this leaves a major hole in this rotation. We know that Julio Tehran is going to be at the top. We think Matt Whistler is going to be around that number two or number three spot. But Zach, what's the rest of the staff going to look like? Yeah, this trade upgraded their offense, and I think that'll help the pitching in general. But the rest of this rotation is a big question mark. Manny Banuelos, Mike fulton Nevich they may not be ready. So we could see some placeholders and they've already signed free agent Bud Norris. He could step in as maybe that number three or number four guy. And we saw some guys last year, Ryan Weber, Williams Perez, maybe they serve as placeholders until Mike fulton and Banuelos and even guys like Aaron Blair, the guy they just got back from the Diamondbacks or number two prospect now, Sean Newcomb, when they are ready. So we could see a little bit of a placeholder early in the season until those guys get called up. But certainly this is a big question mark now that Shelby Miller is no longer holding that number one spot. The thing that Hart told us yesterday during the availability was that last year's struggles at least provided them the chance to get opportunities for these young pitchers, whether they go out into the free agent market and bring somebody in or try to find those options in-house. The one thing the Braves feel like they have right now is options.